All That We Loved Episode 4 has the guys meeting on their way to school. After Yu checks in, he runs off to see someone but she's not at her desk. Then we're back in the storage room where so is quarreling with the other girls. Junhee steps up to her rescue but Yu enters from another door moments later to take her hand and pull her away from the girls. Yu compares her to Junhee, telling them both to laugh more openly. Interestingly, the senior bully spots them smiling together. In the school shower room several students are handing over their rice balls. A guy makes macchiali with them, setting it to stand and telling them to return on Sunday with a plus one. Soon tack his brown rice, so he's out of the plan. However, he does beg one of the guys to bring him as a guest. Yu has someone else in mind. At home studying, Junhee thinks about so Yeon's laughter but forces himself to focus. Yu phones in a request to grandmother to turn off his lights at 10 p.m. Junhee aims to continue but feels a bit off. Meanwhile, Yu is throwing baskets but he's spacing out and not making too many shots. His coach is not impressed but Yu claims it's nothing to do with his surgery. And so Yeon's at work thinking about the rescue and Yu's smile. The next day, the guys help out grandmother who's ordered way too many flowers by mistake. As they walk the streets, Junhee gets scared by a pigeon. Yu sells flowers to so Yeon and uses the opportunity to ask her to join them on Sunday. And just like that, Sunday night rolls round and they gather at school for the Macchiali. Once they're all gathered inside, the gang are chased by security. Soon Tak falls, so Yu helps him and sends so Yeon off with Junhee to hide. Catching their breath, so Yeon and Junhee seem to be having a moment. All that we loved episode 5 opens on Yu and so Yeon's moment before the Macchiali party gets busted. He sends so Yeon off with bestie Junhee so he can help Soon Tak. As they hide tuck between buildings, staring into each other's eyes, Yu interrupts with a call. They meet in the park, but Junhee is having trouble with his vision. Yu takes so Yeon home. Soon Tak notes that Junhee looked better with her than Yu does. As they walk, so Yeon asks about Yu's friendship with Junhee. Afterwards, he heads to Junhee's to ask the fateful question whether he likes so Yeon too. Junhee convincingly denies it. Yu stays the night and the next morning, Junhee sounds oddly like Yu. And he's also no longer wearing his glasses. While Yu and so Yeon get to know each other better, Junhee uncharacteristically feels angry angry spotting his bully at work. Junhee has his check at the hospital, receiving positive results. He mentions his abnormalities but they're deemed a good thing, so he just goes with it. Meanwhile, Yu quietly searches for grandmother's missing necklace. So Yeon is left alone in the classroom and takes something from another student's desk. In 2023 she shares the news that she's in the midst of a theft case and in the classroom, Yu checks her bag and not only finds the item but the necklace belonging to Junhee's grandmother too. All that we loved episode 6 drops us back in the classroom with Yu catching So Yeon and checking her bag, calling her a thief. She claims she doesn't know where she got the necklace and he walks out on her. After leaving So Yeon, Yu sneaks off to shoot baskets and think. He recalls So Yeon drinking beer and that he's heard she transferred schools a lot. After school, Jun notices more similarities to Yu. And he's surprised to receive his grandmother's lost necklace. Yu claims he doesn't know where he found it, but So Yeon remembers finding it on the stairs. At dinner, grandmother wonders why Jun Hae is using his right hand and he makes an excuse. She's delighted when he hands over the necklace Yu found. You can't stop thinking about catching So Yeon. While Junhee starts listing all the changes he's noticed in himself. The ultimate test is eating a few peanuts, but it seems like he's fine in that department. At school, the bully approaches So Yeon, and even though they're not talking, Yu heads in for the rescue. She just walks away from them both. Yu asks So Yeon about her secret and she tells him what he's already discovered, she steals. Junhee asks his grandmother if she'd be happy if he were more like you, but of course she just teases him. Walking along with her, he spots So Yeon and runs after her, catching her stealing from a shop. She confirms that Yu caught her too and walking back, Junhee spots the bully dragging another kid and he can't stop himself from getting involved. As Junhee takes another beating, Yu starts to feel restless. And just as Junhee's about to take another hit, Yu jumps in. Hey, hey, tied down on the 405. Half hour late, we on LA time.